Atin na Lord, thank you. Yes, I love this equation, Lord, but still, I thank you for the opportunity for the no chance that you're gonna be giving me. Number two. Number one, ito magpapagulit sa pagpapagulit bago sa akin, sa akin, I, uh, I'm telling you, for you to cross. Ulitin ko, decision ng Panginoon kung hanggang kailan ka dyan. Pero as you establish the life of worship, talagang, uh, talaga ang mata mo, at yung ato sila kay God. Hindi ko nila mga sigat. Parang Pilipinas! Sabi nila ang Panginoon, hindi, you did it, I'm the beholder. Kahit anong talagayin, meron ka kung ang titignan mo, yung kakayahan ng Lord na magbigay ng katubunan sa'yo, mapapawaw ka eh. Amen? Dapat is the place mo na sa'yo. Hindi puro pangit na natin kita mo. Pag puro pangit na natin kita mo, parang ito wala ka sa promise and wala ka sa heaven. Nasa isya ko talaga. Kasi puro pangit. Ang inir, ang pangit. Ha, diba yung darili natin? Alright! Pangalawa. The second thing that you need to establish in you is this. You should have a servanthood spirit. Sabi ng Lord, Let's go! Yes, Lord. Ah, hindi po pwede, Lord. Meron ako. Let's go, sabi ng Lord. Yes, Lord. As long as you say, Yes, Lord, you will reach there. Pero hanggat di meron ka sariling agenda, may sariling kang prinsipyo, may sariling kang adikain, may sariling kang may, may, meron kang own will of your own, you cannot join God to bring you there. Remember, it is God will bring you there. It's not by your own accord. It's not even me. It's not even your friend. It is God who will bring you there. As long as you keep on going and going and going somewhere else, God, you will not be reaching your promised land. But as long as you establish a servant or a spirit, yes, Lord! Kung sa akin ang papaligaya doon ako, Panginoon. Yung iba talagang kontratista eh. May kontrata, kontratista. Are you with me? So let's establish a servant. After all, who is God? Anyway, who's asking you to get, let's go. It is God who is going to be blessing you. It is God who will be putting a new situation in you. It is God who will give you a new opportunity for you. It is God who will give you the extension. It is God who will give you the healing. It is God who will give you the favor. It is God who will bless you with a package deal blessing. It is God who no one can give you. Your friends will bless you, but they are limited. But God is unlimited. Amen. We have an unlimited resource here in this God. Are you with me? Let's, uh, let, let this tablet as servant to the spirit in us. Yes, Lord, let's go. Yes, Lord, let's go. Are you with me? The third thing is this. Are you catching? Amen. Para hindi tayo magtagal, makakross over ka agad tayo doon. Pangatlo. Kanina, ikinumit ng Lord sa atin, I will go with you. Yung word ng Lord, nakakumit na sa atin. Wala nang bawian, Panginoon, walang rest back even sa kaaway. Kasi sabi niya, no one could be able to stand against you. Amen? Ikinumit ng Panginoon sa atin ang kanyang salita. Ikinumit din sa atin ng Lord ang kanyang presensya. May kasamang pangako talaga. Committed ang Lord sa atin. Pangatlo, let's open up our Bible in Joshua 1.6. Ito lang hinahagad ng ating Panginoon sa atin. Tatawid ka, aalis ka dyan sa kalagayan mong yan. Ano sabi na lang? Ulitin nga natin. Be strong and courageous. Ayaw na Panginoon ang tuwa! Commitment ng Lord sa atin, I will go with you. My presence will go with you. Pero ito ang hinahangad na commitment ng Lord mula sa atin. Anak, magpakatatag ka, magpakalakas ka ng loob. Dadaan niya sa matinding problema, dadaan ka sa bagyo, pero tatandaan mo, kasama mo, presensya ko. I could come down the storm. I could rebuke the storm. You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be discouraged. You don't need to be hindered. No one can stand up against you. The only thing that God is asking us, let you be strong and courageous. Amen? Amen. 